Hey everyone, this is Daniel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Power Virtual Agents built-in entities. And it's very important that you understand how to use these built-in entities because if you do it correctly, you can save yourself a lot of time and improve the overall accuracy of your chatbot conversation. So the four that I want to really focus on is the person name, email, date and time, and age. In fact, there was actually a question that was asked in my YouTube videos is that, hey, Daniel, in a scenario where somebody's coming in and you're actually doing a natural language conversation with your chatbot, a person may actually put a long sentence saying that, hi, my name is John Doe. Well, how do you just extract that full name from that conversation? I will actually show you that in this video. So stick around. It's really important. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started and we'll really start from the beginning. So over here in my Power Virtual Agents, I'll go ahead and create a new bot. I'm going to go for a build for production. I'll click that over here and I'm going to call this as my live demo for pre-built entities. I'll just do that. My language is going to be English and now I'll click on create. And so as you can know, this is going to go ahead and start creating the bot. It does take a few extra minutes, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And we are in and the bot is completely built for us. We'll go ahead and start building some topics. But before we do that, this is what I talk about is that there's already these pre-built entities in the chatbot. Every chatbot, every topic that you create, these pre-built entities are at your disposal. And you want to start leveraging them because it really improves the overall performance on the bot. And I'm going to be doing those four examples right over here. So I'm going to come out to my topics and in my topics, I'm going to first do the most important thing is go ahead and close these lessons one. You know, I've constantly been telling you these. these lessons are a great one to learn from. But before you start building production ones or if this is going to be a production one, you really want to go ahead and turn these entities off. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'll just go and turn all of them off right now. So all my entities are turned off and I'll go ahead and start building a new topic. This new topic is going to be something, say, related to looking for a new position. So I'll just go ahead and add a few entities over here. I'll say looking for a job. I'll just say job. I'll say position looking or sell interested, interested in a new position. And I'll say job hunting too. All right. I'll just leave it at that for now. Uh, it says that the trigger phrases, you at least need five to 10 trigger phrases. And I've deep dived this in other videos as well. But over here, I'll just go and do that. I'll click on save. In fact, you can't click on save because it's going to say this one is empty over here. So I'm going to actually go and delete that. And what we'll do is we'll start by adding our first question. So here's what I'm going to say. All right. I'm going to come over there and I'm going to ask a new question. And one of the things I've done is I've just pre-typed all these things so I don't make any mistakes. But let's read the question. It says, hi there. Thanks for stopping by and using this chatbot service to apply for this new position. Let's get started with your full name. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to now ask for the user's full name. So here is where I can now come into my identify and over here, just search for name, basically just search for name. And when you do a name, it says person name and it says it's a pre-built, a person's partial or full name extracted as a string. That's what this is going to do. So I'm going to select that. The next thing I always get a little confused about is this section over here, because we always have to assign the input that the user gives to a variable. Well, it says that, hey, this has already got the var prefix, which we know it already does that. But the under parenthesis, it says person name. So is that means that it is, that's the person name is var open and close parenthesis person name, or do I actually need to add to it? A good way to actually understand that is by if I come over here on the next one, and I actually go and show a message in the message. When I click on this variable, I can see that it only put bar. All right. So we here was basically of a not of a recommendation, but it's already telling you that this is one of those pre built entities of type person name, but you do have to give that entity the variable the name. So that's what we'll do. We'll come over here, click on that pencil, it'll come up over there. And then I'm going to go and give uh, the exact same name is I'm going to say var person name. All right. And so it already went and populated that. And then I will actually say something like this it says, um, hi, and I'll go and select the person name now. And then I'll put a comma, oops, event and I wiped it up. So hi, go person name, comma, enter, and I'll paste this nice to virtually meet you. All right. So we've now actually gone ahead and accomplished that. 
what we'll do is let's start doing some testing. All right, we'll go add this one and we'll be able to test it. We'll just go ahead and kind of building upon it. So anytime you have done a change to a chat bot, you've got to go ahead and save it before you go and test it in the test bot. That should basically be your out of the box, you know, response that, hey, I made a change, I need to test it, save it, save it, save it, save it. So right now it is saving the topic and the topic is saved successfully. So here we go. I'm just going to come over here and just to make sure that it's only this topic which is tri triggered, I'm going to say something like looking for a job. All right, that's what I'm going to do. And now immediately this topic tr took effect because we already picked up its trigger. And that's what it says is that thanks for stopping by. Um, and you know, can I have your full name? So I'm actually going to go ahead and now type something like this. And it says, hello, my name is Daniel H. Christian, because it is me that literally is, by the way, my full name. But I'm doing this natural language type of communication with this chatbot. Um, so I put in a full sentence. I said, hello, comma, my name is Daniel H. Christian. So let's see how the chatbot responds to that. I'm going to click on this one and it immediately came back and gave me, hi, Daniel, it's Christian. Nice to virtually meet you. It's actually right now in this section over here, in this node, which means that this variable, that we, the, the entity for this variable, which is for the person name, was smart enough to extract just your name. All right. What I'm going to say is now I'm going to start with a trigger, which we know will come to this topic, which is going to say uh, looking for a job. So that automatically triggered this one. We are great. And now I'm going to say, uh, it's asking me for my full name, all right? So I'm going to respond back this way because remember, this is natural language. So I'm going to say, hi, chatbot. My full name is Daniel Christian, all right? Now let's see the response we get over here. So when I get that, the chatbot is actually confused. It's saying, uh, hi there, thanks for stopping by. Can you just confirm what your full name is? And it gives me two options. Because from this response, this natural language response that we put in, it identified two potential names. It said it could be chatbot and it could be Daniel Christian. So now it's giving you the option to go and select, hey, wait, can you just help me understand which one is your name? This is awesome because it at least identified two potential names and now it's throwing the ball back in your court telling you, hey, I need you to make that real decision. And I'm completely fine with it because I'd rather have my correct name identified by this chatbot. So I'm gonna click on Daniel Christian and there we go. This is, hi, Daniel Christian, nice to virtually meet you. And we got back into this note. A very awesome example of how this thing works over here. Oh, by the way, we need to actually go and give this chatbot a name. So I'm gonna say live demo for built in entities, all right? And we'll just click on that and we'll go and save it. So now we can go and continue forward. Topic is saved, let's move along. So we went and now used the one for the full name, all right? One of those built in entities. The next thing I wanna do is now go ahead and grab my email address. So let's actually continue with the conversation, all right? So in the conversation now, the next question that I'm going to ask is basically one right here. And I'm gonna post this in so you can actually see the whole thing here. It says, have a few more questions to see if you're a candidate for this position. I'm gonna actually click on that and put a little space. It says, also in case I need to send you some documents to sign or review, what is the best email address I can use? For that in the identify, click on it and just type in email. All right, just type in email. And now it says pre-built email addresses extracted as a string. So when I'll do that, it already says, hey, this is gonna be a var off type email. I'll just select on the pencil and here I'll actually say var and I'm gonna type in my email, right? And then after that, I will actually go ahead and say something like this, right on the top. I'll go ahead and now ask another uh, mess. I'll put another message and I'll paste something like this is understood. We will, con uh, we will use, and in between use, I'm gonna now click on the variables and I'll go and say email address. I'll say understood. We will use this, which is the email address to communicate with you via emails. This is great. Now let's go and click on save and let's continue to test up to over here. As you can see, our conversation is actually getting bigger and it's getting really exciting. So let's go and start with the same thing. I'm gonna go and go and say hi. It goes and says hi. It's gonna ask me for my name. I'm gonna actually go and say um, looking for a job. I'm gonna do that. Then it's gonna ask me, it's coming out to this topic, which is great. I'll go and actually paste in my full name. Hello, my name is Daniel Christian. We went through that over here. Awesome, it's going and now asking for my more e email address. Um, so here's what I'm gonna say. I'm actually gonna say something in this effect. I'm gonna say, 
Again, remember, this is natural language. So if I was actually having a chatbot discussion or if I was having a phone call discussion with something, somebody, um, I might say something like this. It's that, you know, I have several email addresses, but the one I use the most is this. It's going to be daniel at contoso.com. You and I know that is not my email address, but I'm going to go and use that for this example. So now I go and click on send, all right? And now it comes back over here. It says, understood, we will use daniel at contoso.com to communicate with your email. Do you understand what just happened over here? The chatbot was smart enough to still read my natural language conversation and only extract my email address. Remember this, this was actually an answer to a question and a whole bunch of questions which was, saying, which was asked in my, in my YouTube video is that, hey, this is the type of scenarios where we have natural language conversation is going on. How do I just go and extract the information, like full name, like email address, and see these built-in entities is what does that, all right? But this is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and build on top of this with some more examples. But as a recap though, we went ahead and did the person name, we went and did the email. Well, now I actually want to work on a date. The date is very important over here. So let's actually go with this one example, right? So we went to the question, we went to the message, which is now basically going to go on to another question. And then the other question, I'm going to basically ask something like this, is that how early can you start working? Please provide a date. Now, I have intentionally not mentioned a date format. Let's see how smart this chatbot is. And so for that, I'm going to go back to my identifier and I'm going to put date and it says date and time pre-built date times days of the week, a month relative to point in time extract as a string. It is pretty smart, but let's actually just start a little simple and I'm going to say var and I'm going to just say this is going to be the start date, all right? Do all of this. And then after that, I can actually go ahead and say something like this. You know, basically the person has had a conversation. So the next thing I do is, is a comment over here and I say, perfect. We can definitely with that day, uh, with that timeline. And after that, I'll just go and paste the actual start date. All right now let's go and test that. I'm going to click on save. Let's make sure that the topic is completely updated and we'll go and test it. So in the testing now, I'm actually just going to go and make sure I give the only correct trigger. So we only stick on this topic. And this is basically what I'm saying, looking for a job that automatically triggered this topic, all right? It came back with the name and I'm gonna actually just say this conversation, hello, my name is Daniel, or I could even say something like, what's up, my name is Daniel Christian. It will automatically go ahead and pick up all of this information over here, right? It's pretty smart at stuff like this. And I'm gonna do a lot of copying and pasting to make sure that we actually have enough information going. It now went and picked up my email addresses and now is the new update that we added. It says, how early can you start working? Please provide a date. Now, again, with the whole natural language um, in mind, I feel like I'm having a conversation with almost a human being over here, right? So I'm actually going down to say something like, I can start as early as November 28th, because in my mind, I am not even considering the, what time of the year it is, what year it is, none of that. I'm just gonna say, hey, hey, today is this date, the, today is November 18th. I can actually go and start as early as November 28th. And I'm going and just going and pasting that in. Now, even though you are having a discussion with an AI chatbot, the chatbot was smart enough to identify that this person only gave me the month and the day. It really didn't tell me what the year is. So it's coming back with this response, like how early can you start working? Please provide a date. And I am actually gonna go and say 2022 because hey, that is the exact correct one. And then it immediately goes to the next note, which is the message one it says, perfect. We can definitely work with that timeline. Again, do you see how important it was and how efficient that built-in entity is? It's one of those things which I highly recommend. If you haven't started using it, go use these. And I'm using these four big examples over here. And we've already covered three of them. Now, let's go and cover the last one. And it's a very important one too, which is the age. So let's kind of build up, up on top of this, all right? We're gonna now come to our final question that we're gonna ask. And the final question which I'm gonna go and say is something like this. I'm gonna go and paste it. It says, final question before I submit your request to be reviewed. Uh, for this position, we need to know your current age. How old are you? And for that, I'm gonna go again into the identifier. I'm gonna type in age and I'll go and select that one. Click on the var area, the pencil away of a variable and I'll just put in the var and age. After that, I'll go and actually add another section um, and I'll say something like this, you know, thanks. Uh, this is basically just going to be a message. It says, thanks. We will keep this information confidential and I'll just put in age, comma, grab that variable right over here, right? Now I can go and save it and we will do a little bit more testing because there's actually two scenarios of testing that I want you to do. 
So the topic will get saved. It is saved. Awesome. It already went and refreshed it. Now let's go and start our conversation. First thing I do is go and add a trigger looking for a job. Awesome. It went and uh, you know, came up with the name that's asking for his name. I'll go and paste this text over here. Hello, my name is Daniel Christian react and acting a natural language perfectly. It came up with everything you want. Um, now it's going to go and ask me for my email address. Again, I will go ahead and do a natural language type of a conversation pasted this information in it extracted only my email address, but we've already seen this. So let's move forward with it. Um, next things next is that it's asking me how early can you start with the date? I can actually go and put in something like this as early as November 20, uh, 28th. In fact, let's put in 28th and it's going through like that, correcting me and confirming with me. Is it uh, November 28th, 2021 or is it November 28th, 2022? I said it's November 28th, 22. Awesome. So it went through over here. Now it is going to ask me for my um, age. So I'm going to put this down two different ways for the first one. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say I am 30 years old. All right. I'm going to hit enter over there and over here. You will see in this message. It automatically picked up only that day 30 years old, which by default is fantastic. It went and did an extraction over there. But check this out. I want to do another scenario of actually writing out a age and let's see if it is smart enough to do that. And instead of you waiting for me to go ahead and you know, see this entire thing, I'm just going to fast forward through that and we'll come back away in a second. All right. So we are back over here at that very same point where it is asking me for how old I am. Now, remember in the previous test that we did, I said I am 30 years old. The 30 was three zero. We actually added numerical values over here. I'm going to go ahead and type in this it says I am 30 dash five years old. I've actually spelled out 35 years old. Is the bot smart enough to go and extract that as my age? Well, let's see. Keeping my fingers crossed. So I'm going to click on that and then voila, it took this 35, went ahead and extracted that as the number. It also converted that into the number, the numerical value three, five, and then went and added into my message. I mean, this is AI at a whole different level. Not only does it understand it, it went ahead and transferred that into a numerical value over here. Do you understand now why it is so important for you to start leveraging these built in entities? Because the four demos that I showed you were pretty awesome. It is smart enough to extract only the data that matches the question that you asked. It doesn't take the entire answer and all the text over here. And remember, I just showed you four. There is a bunch of other entities, the pre built entities that you should heavily start leveraging. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using power virtual agents. Hey everyone, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, can you help me help you? Can you subscribe to this YouTube channel? Because remember, I provide fresh content on a weekly basis and it's 100% free. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much and pass the word. But if you haven't, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.